Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video I'm going to be talking about how many points you need to get to qualify for round two for the Zero Build Duos Victory Cup. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. <laughs> Yes guys, that is right, I'm now going to be making a few more videos about Fortnite competitive, so if you guys like these types of videos, make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel with the notification on and leave a like on today's video, if this video does of course help. I do also have a Discord in the description down below, so feel free to check that out, but guys, I am very, very close to 51,000 subscribers, so if you guys would like to enter into my giveaway for 51,000 subscribers, all you need to do is simply leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel and comment your epic games id so i can add you and of course send you a free gift because not only that you need to let me know in the comments what you would like from the fortnite item shop so it's a lot easier when i do add you but it doesn't really matter because once you're in my, uh, my lobby you can of course tell me what you want so we're going to go ahead and talk about what is going on with this so as you guys can see we have got all of these brand new tournaments that have finally come and we're going to be playing these tournaments which is going to be taking place at the end of january as you guys can see mid january start of feb and start of march we've got all of these brand new tournaments so i'm going to be telling you guys how many points you will need to qualify or you know or how many points to make money in all of these future tournaments so make sure you guys are watching on the rest of the channel when i do publish these videos so today's focus is of course zero build duos victory cup now it is of course in seven hours for me because i'm obviously eu so i thought i'd make this video early because some people will be playing it on their servers now or later or they've already played it and they just want to know how many points it'll be in the near future so the first thing we're going to be going ahead and showing you guys is the prizes and rewards so as you guys can of course see it's a zero build duos victory cup top 2250 advanced to the next round in the open stages now it's very important to know that you guys need to be um, to unlock this tournament by playing ranked zero build, you and your partner must be in gold or higher in zero build to unlock this tournament. This tournament occurs across two rounds with the top players from round one advancing to round two. EU is top 2250, NA is top 1800, um, and then it says Brazil, Asia and Middle East is top 500, OCE is top 350, and players will win cash prizes for, for achieving a victory royale in round two. There will be no other placement prizes. Players must be at least 13 years old or such other age is greater. It may be required um, a, a different sort of age in your country of residence. But having um, two-factor authentication enabled and MFA enabled and a cat level of level of 15 or greater is needed too. Now let's figure out how many points you will need. So as you guys can see, to get a victory royale, all placements, you will get 65 points. Now each elimination is 2 points, Loot Island Captured is 15 points which is quite a lot because that's equivalent to getting pretty much top 18. And then each forecast tower captured is three points. Now, in my opinion, considering each elimination is two points and you're getting loads of placement points, going for the forecast tower probably isn't really worth it. But now I'm going to be figuring out how many points it is. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go back to the last tournament that was played and look at the session leaderboard. Now we're going to go scroll all the way down until we can find the top 2,000 250 players and then we'll be able to figure out exactly how many points you will need for this tournament to of course go into round two so make sure you guys are watching because i'm going to be showing you exactly how many points you will need and it's looking like it isn't actually going to be as difficult as most people think Seeing as the point system is very, very placement based, I would definitely advise most people to start off with going for a win um, in the first of five games, but also going for as many eliminations as possible. So it's currently on 226, as you guys can see. But the further down we go, the nearer it is. Like the the about like the split between players is very close. So it's looking like every single point matters. So we're now down here. And it is on one th 2,000 players is 208 points. So it's probably only going to be, like, so 2,200, there we go. 2,250, if we just scroll down a bit, shouldn't be too difficult to find. Wait, oh my god, this is so annoying. It keeps like glitching out. So 2,250 is... 204 points so these were the last people that did of course qualify so if we look at their match history they only managed to play 
seven games out of the ten, I believe. Or it might have only been seven games that you get to play anyway. But they got a two kill 16th, a one kill... Oh, I didn't even mean to go into that, to be honest. But guys, it just showcased that you only don't even need to get that many wins. But guys, you need to basically focus all of your placements on... Um, all of your points on placements and you guys can of course check back on what that was but if this video did help then please be sure to subscribe to the channel with the notifications on but that's everything guys peace out